everyone welcome back to the channel um, I've decided to come on and do a wee project um, I'm going to try and do either a tag a day or a wee project a day just have a wee sort of Christmas series so the first thing I'm going to do is a wee tag because you know I'm making these for my tag book so I've cut myself out um, my tag and I'm just going to pop on my glue so these are going to be really easy wee projects I might put in some Christmas um, flip books and things but oh, my glue is clogged I thought it would be nice to keep busy and to share with everybody just some wee projects that are coming up to Christmas so I'm going to try and do one every day as I say, not all of them will be Christmas projects, um, but some of them will. So I'm just going to cover the front of my tag with this Noel paper. This is from the Paper Mania pack that I showed on a haul from the works. Um, I think that was on Friday I showed that. So I'm just using up some of it. I'm just going to cut around the tag and the reason I put it on this and um, this is 300 GSM card that I'm putting it on and it basically is just to make it thick so that because the paper is quite thin and obviously it wouldn't make a very good tag so I'm just cutting around it making sure that it's nice and neat oh, that's not very nice and neat There we go. Okay, so move all this out of the way so you can see what I'm doing. So I've got my wee tag covered in my new paper. And the next thing I'm going to do is just reach up here and get my hole punch and just punch the hole in the centre. And then from the same pack, I've pulled out this. Um, it says Seasons Greetings with the bobble on it. <coughs> Excuse me. And it's actually decoupage. So I've pulled out some of the pieces. And the first piece I'm going to put on flat. So I'll just do that with some wet glue again. Here. I think it's nice to come on and project share because it gives everybody ideas and we all share from each other. So I think it's nice. Um, so this piece I'm now going to put on with some 3D foam. Like I say, this is just an easy wee project to come on and share. Um, or tag books and these like I said before when I've been making these these are fantastic for not just making tags and um, tag books but also for flip books as well let's just add that next piece on and then let's have a wee look and see which bit goes on next it's this piece so we'll just put some 3D foam on the back to give it some dimension like so I can't believe it's almost November they will be rushing about getting their Christmas presents and things soon which is really exciting it help if I put this on straight <laughs> so sorry I'm just going to look over the top of it sorry for taking it away from the camera but it's just so I can look right over the top of it so that's that layer went on and then next layer is this piece so I'm just going to cut some of these in half and put them on the top and then I just have a full one here so this is building up some nice dimension 
And although this is a tag, I don't use this, um, use these for putting on presents and things. Because, to be honest, I think they're too nice. And it would just get wasted going into a tag on a present and get thrown in the bin. So I would rather make them and um, gift them to people and things. So, we're coming down to the last couple of pieces here. This pad um, that I got from the pack from the works was only £4 for 48 sheets and it's absolutely fab. The quality is great. It's like a, it's printed on a, a linen paper, um, a linen card, so the actual decoupage is really good. It's really thick. And then I'm just going to use some smaller squares, some of the wee tiny ones, to put on this last piece here there we go I'll just take these wee tiny ones off there we are because of the wee things they get stuck to everything oops that one's came right off pop it back on And just put it there. And then we've got one final wee bit that goes in the centre. So I'll just take off any wee nibs that was holding up together. And I'm going to just pop a couple of wee squares in the middle. way it goes. So that's the decoupage part done. You can see that. You can see the dimension on the side. Yeah. And that's the front of our tag. So what I'm going to do just to finish it off is I picked out three pieces of ribbon. So I've got a green piece, a red piece and this kind of light blue piece that matches the colours. And I'm just going to sort of lay them on top of each other, like so. And then I'm going to pinch the end together so that I can cut it on a diagonal. And then all the ribbon gets like a flag top to it. And I'm just going to do the same at the other end. Pinch them together and cut off the end. So these pieces have to be flag ends as well. Then I'm going to take them and fold them over. If I can sort of show you this. Fold them over like so. It's a wee bit fiddly this bit. So I have them like this. Can see that and I'm going to place them down where I want them on the tag so they're just coming off the corner and if I can find my staple I'm going to staple sorry I will show you when it's done it's a bit of a weird angle to try and show you take my staple up and I'm going to staple down right through all of the ribbon I'm just going to put another one in there so now I've got this ribbon staple to the top which I think looks really cute and I just want to put a button over here to cover up the staples now usually I would do this with my glue gun but I don't have my glue gun plugged in right now but I will go back and do it with my glue gun. But for now, I'm just going to take one of these sticky dots, squares, sorry, and just cut a wee piece. Just a wee square. Like I say, I will take this back off anyway, but just for the purposes of the video. I'm going to pop it onto this and just 
Oh, sorry if you can hear some noise. My neighbours are in their garden. And pop that on there. And I think, let me have a wee look. Yeah, I quite like that the way it is. Um, I was going to pop some Merry Christmas. Yeah, I think of all actually what I'll do is I've got this Merry Christmas washi. I don't know if it shows up very well when it's wound up. But let me see if I can find the end of it. Some of these washies are awful to find the end. Oh, right, I've got it. Here. I'm just going to open it up and I'm going to pop Merry Christmas right across the bottom. Like so. And then just cut off the extra. Turn it over and cut off the extra. So, there we go. There's our wee tag. I think that's really cute. That's another one for my tag book. <coughs> Excuse me. I'll just pop it on my tag book just now. Um, my tag book seems to be getting smaller and slightly bigger. I keep using a lot of them for flip books. But I'll just pop that on and there we go. So I'm going to be doing a wee series um, every day. Just doing wee projects. I think I'll probably do a tag series to start off with because I really enjoy doing these. I'm going to do these for about a week and then go on to something else. If you have any requests leave me a wee comment if you'd like to see me make anything in particular and I will try my best to accommodate you. Um, but yeah, if you haven't subscribed guys please do and um, give me a wee thumbs up and have a lovely Sunday evening.